This is World Video News. These are the best stories and reports from around the world of beer. I'm Nitch, Grand Poobah of Beer Geeking, and I noticed a trend this week that you might want to spread to your friends. Move over, fruited beers. It's time to get buried. Huh? Berries are technically a fruit, though, I think, so it's fine. Um, either way, if you've ever been on an airline, then you would know that uh, beer tastes bad at 35,000 feet. Um, a lot of things taste bad. Uh, it has to do with the altitude. And actually, the vibration from the plane affects your inner ear and makes it so you can't taste things. So, dig this. There is now uh, a company that has created a beer that is intended to be drank on airlines. Uh, Betsy beer is brewed with only Hong Kong and UK sourced ingredients, which include British hops, the Fuggle, uh, honey sourced from the new territories of Hong Kong, uh, oh, and Dragon Eye Fruit, also known as Longan. Um, uh, Betsy beer will be available for first and business class passengers on flights between Hong Kong and the UK starting March 1st and through the end of its inaugural launch on April 31st. Uh, it will also be sold in airport lounges in uh, Hong Kong and Heathrow airports as well as some restaurants in Hong Kong. If you get a hold of some of it, you let me know because I would love to know more about that. That's an actual development in science that's good for beer. Support that. Uh, I usually have Bloody Marys when I fly because it doesn't really matter, does it? More vitamins. Um, Baladin, they have plans to open a farm brewery in Pied Piedmont. Here, location. Um, a spring, um, of 2017, Baladin Open Garden will be inaugurated. Uh, the backing for it is now closed. Um, they raised some 80,000 through an indie uh, go-go campaign. Basically, this, it's gonna be open in like June. Um, it's a uh, educational theme park for beer lovers, I guess is the point. <laughs> It's, uh, they're gonna have a micro malt house on the property to explain the process of converting barley into malt. Uh, they're also going to uh, make a special beer that's only gonna be available at the park. I don't know why they're calling it a park. Uh, the second floor of the malting house is also gonna have a space where um, they're gonna to dry out the hops that are picked from their 2.5 acres of fields. There's gonna be tours and all kinds of fun, great stuff in Italy. So that sounds great. Baladin is a nice company. The founder is a really cool guy. Uh, so if you get a chance, support that. Add that to your beer destinations. On the other side of the planet, in Ballarat, I'm gonna just say it like that, uh, Victoria, Australia, uh, now positioning itself as the beer capital of Victoria as uh, it released a few days ago announcement of a $1.2 million Australian craft beer center of excellence, huh? Cool. The center received 500,000 in state government funding, uh, will work in partnership with Hop Temple, and will include a brewery, a tasting bar, a teaching space, and a function area. Now this comes uh, after the announcement of uh, the $100 million brewery, that is coming from the Bro Brewery. And um, this brewery is supposed to be entirely made with renewable energy. The Bro Brewery is the one that's steadily creeping into China, as you may remember. And that site, I mean, $100 million, forget Baladin in Italy and this government piece, because the Bro Brewery is gonna include a museum chronic chronicling the history of beer in Australia, which is, I, that's funny, because it's gonna be like, Germans came over and made the beer. Uh, as well as a restaurant, they're gonna have a visitor center, wetlands, which I tried to figure out what it is they meant by that, but wetlands inside the brewery, and also an amphitheater. Hmm. Presumably as well, they're gonna have a tour of just like all the deadly things in Australia that will kill you. Here to go tours, walk through the wetlands. Restaurants on the other side. Now, let's take a look at the Icelandic 
Parliament House, where the first debates over a new liquor bill are being held. As of February 28, the bill, which is very controversial, suggests allowing the sale of alcoholic beverages in grocery stores, which are currently alcohol is only sold in state-run liquor stores. Um, Iceland has some interesting liquor laws, but we'll, we'll just say, in terms of political affiliation, those who are the strongest opponents of the sale of beer in grocery stores are supporters of, you know, a little bit older people, supporters of the Social Democratic Alliance and the Left Green Movement. They have about 70 to 70 percent against the bill. They're followed by um, supporters of the, of the Progressive Party, who are about 60 percent uh, against the bill, and those uh, who vote for the bill are the Bright Future Party, the Pirate Party, and the Independence Party. So, could you live in a place uh, that doesn't allow you to buy beer at a grocery store, but does have something called a Pirate Party in the Parliament? Hmm? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, you know which one I, I would, you know what I would say, right? So, we'll continue to follow that story, um, but... I guess still on the high seas concept, uh, being as creative as ever, uh, Heineken has been sending out press releases to the uh, to eco websites like TreeHugger.com and Modern Farmer that they'll be having some awesome new significant significant reductions in CO2 emissions as a direct result of shifting its freight operations between Mexico and the U.S from road to the open seas. Huh? Trump? Can't build a wall over water. Heineken's thinking. For the first time in history, Korea last month, according to major supermarkets, imported fragrant ale beer made up 50% of beer sales. Mm -hmm. So that and they also said, said that the, the number of people who enjoy beer alone has increased greatly. Yay! Taste Geek shut-ins. Is that good? Is that a good thing? Yeah. We will finish uh, off this week's episode with an interactive tool. Uh, thinking about opening a trendy hipster trash bar with your buddies. Is it gonna be heaps mad and different and cool? Well, let's use this generator make sure we got that uh, broadsheet article. We get that written about us, too. Let's see what we get. You should start a Save by the Bell themed bar that sells Venus share play. What? No. You should start a Millhouse Von Houten themed bar that sells Melbourne Bitter Long Necks. No. You should start a Captain Planet themed bar that sells various barbecued meats and plays like a bird by Nelly Furtado 24 7. I think we found our winner, folks. That one's for us. <laughs> or me. Or I don't know. <laughs> Great weekend, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and sharing these videos with your friends. If you have any, if not, if I'm your only friend, that's cool too. Mm. Uh, remember that uh, you can find the links for all of the articles wherever <laughs> it's linked somewhere at uh, tastingniche.com or you can email me directly at niche at tastingniche.com. I always love hearing from you. Uh, and uh, yeah, so again, have a great weekend. Mm -hmm. Au revoir.